It's not bad if you're close to the coast, but for everyone else, the last couple of days have been on the warm side. At the same time, more and more of us are being moved to so-called time-of-use plans, which call on people to conserve energy between the hours of 4 and 9 p.m. SDG&E Communications Manager Wes Jones says it's all because of the increasing amount of renewable energy on the power grid. There's a lot of renewables on the grid in the middle of the day, a lot of clean energy, but that's starting to decline later on in the day. That decline means SDG&E has to fire up its natural gas power plants, and that energy is more expensive. Nearly everyone in SDG&E's service area is being moved onto the time-of-use plan, 575,000 since the big rollout began in March. Jones says 85% of people on the new plan have so far stayed on it. During a one-year pilot program, nearly all participants stayed on it. If you don't want to be on the plan, you must opt out. But Jones says SDG&E has a strategy so everyone can decide which plan is best for them without financial risk. If you go on the plan uh, and after one year you would have saved more on your original plan, we'll credit you back the difference. Some customers who use solar power say the time of use plan is not good for them because they're already saving energy during those peak hours. I asked Wes Jones about that. If you installed your system before like mid-2016, you actually have the opportunity to stay on a non-time of use plan for up to 20 years from the, from the date you installed your system. Jones says the overall idea is to get people to conserve during the hours when the availability of renewable energy dips. And he says if you can conserve during the four to nine time window, you could see a smaller bill. It's 19 hours of off-peak prices that are going to be cheaper than what you're getting on that old original plan. SDG&E is the first investor-owned utility in the state to switch to a time-of-use plan. Others are expected to follow suit. Just think of it as the new normal when it comes to where power comes from and what you pay for it. John Carroll, KPBS News.